Welcome back to the three-hour news show. All right, you are watching our signature segment. Yeah. See the stories. So here's the thing, I hear. Yeah. Recently, I made a friend on social media after seeing one of his videos that went viral in Indonesia. And wait, wait, I wait. You, you, you just uh, gave me uh, some video. Uh, a person yeah, who I drink cobra blood. Cobra blood. <laughs> even I've never tasted cobra blood before. So um, we decided, or yeah. let's invite him to the studio, right? All right. All right. So come on in, Fred. Paket. <laughs> All right. Oh my God, Fred. <laughs> Welcome to the studio. Thank you. You, you, you uh, met uh, with our Ojek, yes, Ojek. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hati-hati ya. Hati-hati. Hi, Fred. Please, have Hi. Let's go. Come, come. Silakan duduk. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> should we talk in bahasa actually ya? Yeah? Because uh, Fred lancar bahasa Indonesia, but flawless yeah, bahasa flawless. Indonesia. Yeah. So Fred, since you look comfortable writing. Ojek or in our Cjek in Indonesia. I want to know how familiar are you with the local lifestyle, including Ojek? Ooh, <laughs> I am pretty familiar at this at this point. I think <laughs> <laughs> I uh, uh, thing is first month I came here for the first time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then I still had my Swedish mindset. Okay. But. Uh, and then I didn't dare to write an Ojek for the first month. Yeah. Then I had a colleague, uh, at the time I was in a Swedish embassy, and she is a Swedish woman, and she took the Ojek every day to work. Really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and she also walked in the street like this. Yeah. Uh -huh. So uh, it took me one month, but then I was just thinking, okay, maybe I should try to adapt to Indonesian. Uh, so I took the first Ojek, and I, yeah. since then I Take Ojek all the time. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So I saw your video talking about a culture shock. So I mean, let's bring to the first story uh, wo, wo, uh, about sorry how you can get here to Indonesia. When did you actually you, you uh, arrive here in Indonesia and uh, in what occasion actually at the time? Uh, first time was uh, 10 or maybe even 11 years ago. Oh, wow. wow. 12 maybe? Uh, yeah, 2012, 2013. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I got an internship in the Swedish embassy. Mm -hmm. uh, I was accepted to other, but I choose Indonesia actually. <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> Some would say it's a stupid choice, but <laughs> but no, it's one of the best choices I have made. So oh. I choose to come to Indonesia and then, yeah, I just instantly enjoyed it so much. Okay, so you've yeah. been here since 2012, 2013 maybe, so it's been quite a while. Yeah, yeah, more yeah. than a decade. Yeah, and of yeah. course every time you move to a new country or you arrive in a new country, there's culture shock. So mm -hmm. other than Ojek, writing Ojek, we want to know what other culture shocks have you experienced? Yeah, uh, so I have been here like for four years, but I have been like a little bit, uh, how to say, I've been going like... In and out. In and out, ah, yeah, okay, from okay, Sweden okay. and Indonesia. But Four years total now in, oh, okay. in Indonesia. But uh, culture shocks, it's every day. <laughs> There's always something new. Yeah, always something new. <laughs> Never a boring day. <laughs> Never a boring day. <laughs> no, no. Uh, I come from a very small, very, uh, very well-educated city. Yeah. A university city in Sweden called Lund. Lund, eh? Yeah, I grew up there. I also studied there. I also, so uh, coming here, uh, it's just uh, everything is different. Uh, <laughs> And there are so many culture shocks. I made, uh, yeah, I made some of the content about culture shocks because yeah. it's just so funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for, for me, for yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, I know yeah. it's maybe not funny for Indonesians, but for me as a foreigner, it's very funny because it's very different. I had a, yeah, one one is with the car. One is with the car with. Okay. It's a public transportation or? Uh, no, normal car. Normal car. In Sweden, everything is about safety. Yeah. yeah. But here in Indonesia, I was going with taxi a lot, mm -hmm. and I was so confused <laughs> as to why sometimes there are no seat belts. <laughs> right. In, in the back seat. In the back seat. <laughs> in the back seat. <laughs> and then I started to learn that uh, the driver will get uh, will feel kind of get feel ill feel if if uh, we do not uh, trust trust the driver. I see. Yeah. Yeah. So that's just one one big thing. The uh, trust issue, right? Yeah, in Sweden there's no question. You just put your seatbelt exactly. on, like automatically. I think that's maybe a little bit better way to do it. But here in Indonesia, <laughs> it's like you get uh, constantly. You get like uh, how to say? 
yeah. you have to adapt to Indonesians, and yeah, yeah, Indonesians yeah. also adapt to you. It's yeah. very so Indonesians are very social like that. So, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, so tell us uh, about your maybe the latest version of your culture shocks. I mean, the the newest one the, for you. Uh, the newest one. Uh, well, that's uh, quite. A, yeah, it was with the bag. Uh, bag. Uh, yeah, I did one uh, with the bag because I've always thought about that because. I put down my bag normally on the ground. Yeah. yeah. And I think many Swedish people do that. But there are so many times where the Indonesian, if I'm at the, in a restaurant or if I'm with a, uh, some family or something, they will always say, no, 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 don't put it on the floor, don't put it on the ground, put it on top of, of here or here. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. But that is just so now I start to do that uh, also, but um, I sometimes. Uh, carry quite expensive things like a laptop in my yeah. bag. Yeah. And the other day I, I put it on a bench and then my uh, my uh, your brakes drop. Yeah, then. and I was oh, scared no. like, uh oh, if my laptop <laughs> <It's> broke, <broken. laughs> but it didn't, but it didn't. I was like thinking, then I'm <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's it, so that's one of the. I think one of the reasons why Indonesian always put our bags on the ground is like um, you put your wallet in there, right? And yeah. thinking if you put it on the ground, it'll run away. So you don't want your money to run away from you. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Something yeah. like that. Yeah. Have you heard that too? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, right. Like, like for safety as well. But yeah, in, and that too. <laughs> but uh, safety for your purse, for your wallet, <laughs> not for the laptop. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> so that's why I think uh, uh, by um, experiencing, um, let's say, uh, a kind of culture shock, but you decided to make it uh, as a content, yeah. Because uh, for me, uh, it's interesting to to have like a culture shock in terms of. Uh, positive way to, to understand and then to adapt to the local culture, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. So I try to make it also for foreigners sometimes too, because this is what we as a foreigners, uh, I mean, you cannot generalize. I generalize quite a lot, but I, uh, it's like, it's not black and white. Mm -hmm. uh, it's on average, right? Uh, but this, these are things that I think many of us from at least Europe, we yeah. think about Maybe from America it's different, maybe from Japan or Africa or from China it's different, but these are some of the things that we as <laughs> Europeans think about. A little too different. Yeah. All right, so um, can you tell us what are some unique traditions you found fascinating in Indonesia? Oof, so much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Indonesia is so diverse. Yeah. Sweden is so homogeneous. <laughs> mm. Uh, we have a few minority as well, but Indonesia is super diverse and diverse in culture, diverse in languages, diverse in beliefs also. Yeah. Indonesians believe in ghosts, many Indonesians believe in different kind of ghosts and give different <laughs> kind of ghost stories. That's also, that's also, that yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it's a mix of it with religion and yeah. also with sometimes with, uh, yeah, yeah, uh, ghost stories or legends. Uh, so, I don't know, there are so many different dances, yep. traditional dances, traditional clothes. Including cl culinary, yes, of course, yeah. Yeah, and culinary also, mm -hmm. yeah, food also. And I'm a curious person, so being a curious person, there is no end, there is not enough time in a lifetime to learn mm -hmm. all of these things. Yeah. Which I feel. yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, you mentioned about languages. Yeah. How long did it take for you to learn Bahasa Indonesia? Oof, I'm still learning the formal. Yeah, yeah, but we've heard you speak Indonesian. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're like, oh, he is really good. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But um, maybe to let's say I've studied it maybe for six years, something like that. Okay. Maybe it took me three years. It was my Indonesian friends. I have many Indonesian friends from the beginning, and they would always switch to English when I because I was so slow in Bahasa Indonesia. <laughs> so my goal was. Someday they will not switch to English. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah, and it took maybe three years. That was your to, motivation. To reset. Then. Yeah, yeah. But uh, I mean, you learned how many languages do you speak? Yeah, so I already speak four languages before. Oh, wow. What are the? What are uh, the Swedish, mm -hmm. uh, English, and then uh, French and Spanish. Wow. Uh, then now in Bahasa. Yeah. And now Bahasa Indonesia. <laughs> now Bahasa Indonesia is maybe my, yeah, it's my third. Third, third best, I guess. Third best. Or yes, maybe you, almost you, in English. Ah, mm, maybe you learn also <laughs> Sundanese, maybe, or Japanese language. Yeah, a little bit, a little bit. Oh, See? Wow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm, cu I'm curious right now. I mean, talking about you as a um, foreigner content creator living here in Indonesia, actually, you've maybe mentioned about uh, the 
inspiration come from from the culture shocks maybe uh, then you switch it to make uh, some uh, educational content actually mm -hmm. yes yeah. yeah also yes and and what inspired you to make contents about indonesia actually about indonesia or yeah. educational or uh, indonesia about indonesia mm -hmm. it's uh, it's fun also to actually re to do it mm -hmm. i think uh, but about indonesia it, it has been many years when I have been thinking about a lot of different uh, ideas to make content. Yeah. I just didn't have the time or the, or the opportunity. Yeah. So I have just had so many ideas of what I wanted to do. <laughs> and there are so many, I have many Indonesian friends who will ask me this or that or Indonesian, random Indonesian people that will ask me things. So I just gather a lot and then I just thought like, okay, now, okay, let's just do it. So. Yeah, and I love this country. That's why I also use sometimes uh, English subtitles mm -hmm. yeah. to try to also make uh, other foreigners uh, can relate. Yeah, can relate and can understand my my content. When did you uh, start uh, making uh, uh, digital content about uh, this uh, Indonesia uh, content? Uh, October. October last Beginning year. Beginning of October last year. Oh, so oh, less than a year actually. Yeah. Yeah. So you know that uh, netizen from Indonesia is so impulsive in uh, giving reactions and yeah you <laughs> yeah. know it's similar kind of like that so tell us about uh, the comments the comments by them. <laughs> yeah the comments yeah actually that's one thing being a foreigner with no family here mm -hmm. I feel kind of like I have my back quite clear uh, I'm honest in all my content yeah, yeah. and uh, I don't have they cannot make me malu Mm. Uh, I am um, because they cannot. They, I don't have any family here, so for <laughs> me, I don't really care so much about netizen <laughs> Indonesian yeah. uh, comments. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but I don't get a lot of negative. I get some negative uh, comments, but right. But mostly so in positive, I think. Yeah, I mostly believe. positive. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. I don't care so much about medicine. I know how medicine Indonesians <laughs> are. So <laughs> just but when 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 foreigner making uh, content about Indonesia, actually, uh, yeah. in my opinion, uh, netizen in, uh, Indonesian netizen is always support for yeah. uh, foreigner who making uh, who's making content about Indonesia in every kind of ways. Yeah, mo most yeah, yeah most of the times most of the times. I think it's because I speak Bahasa Indonesia so well also mm -hmm. that uh, it's obvious that I know. A lot more. I'm, I know a lot more than the average, maybe bule content bule. creator yeah. about yeah. Indonesia. Yeah. Uh -huh. So I can use the language also as kind of like a. Right. It's also kind of like a protection like that, or yeah. kind of like a proof. Uh, I don't make a lot of. Uh, I really love Indonesia. That's true, but I don't show it that much. Mm -hmm. And uh, but I think it speaks by itself. The way I can speak Bahasa Indonesia, mm -hmm. and right. you wouldn't yeah, yeah. learn Bahasa Indonesia this good if you were not truly. Uh, yeah. Like, like, like maybe like tell, yeah. tell, tell me, tell us you love Indonesia without uh, you say you love Indonesia yeah. by speaking right. Bahasa, then it's a proof that you yeah. love Indonesia. Yeah, yeah. So one, one, one more occasion. So, yeah. uh, besides Jakarta, uh, yeah. is there any other cities that you you've uh, been there for making contents? Uh, Explore. Not yet, but I have one very interesting which is coming up. Mm -hmm. This is very interesting. So my uncle in Sweden, mm -hmm. my whole family is Swedish. So my uncle in Sweden, but he married with a Dutch uh, woman. Yeah. Okay. And her father actually was a little kid during the Second World War. In uh, he was in her, so her father was in Bandung. Yeah. And ah. Was taken by. Uh, Dutch family? Uh, yeah, taken by Japanese soldiers in Japanese soldiers. Yeah, Whoa. during the, uh, World, the World War II. War II yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. but she sent me a map of yeah. where they lived in Bandung. So I'm gonna go to Bandung and oh. try to find this house I'll, where she, where uh, her her father lived. I'll support nice. you because our yeah, yeah. hometown is Bandung. So oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'll give Maybe you. Maybe we can help. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we can help. Okay, okay, we can help. Okay. Yeah, I got like a treasure <laughs> map. <laughs> treasure map. Yeah, yeah. yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, let's talk about food because most yeah. of uh, some of your content is about food. Also, we've seen uh, one content about when you um, ate or drank the cobra blood and yeah. ate the cobra sate, which I don't know why. <laughs> but let's talk about it. So, what do you think about Indonesian food in general, and what is the most unforgettable moment you have 
had with Indonesian food or your favorite Indonesian food? Okay, uh, Indonesian food is uh, amazing, but it took me one and a half year to start to eat sambal. Ah. Uh, I think it's most, uh, maybe like that for many foreigners, I think. Mm -hmm. For one and a yeah. half year, I didn't dare to eat sambal because if we put like sambal on our, our skin, could... it will be red, right? Right. Yeah. And you feel hot, yeah? Yeah, that's why I would never want to eat it. <laughs> that's, that's, that's what I thought from the beginning. Like now, now, now something bad is gonna happen. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. Uh, now I really love the sambal food. So I like uh, ayam penyet, uh, Ooh, ayam yes. geprek, ayam kremes. I like nasi padang. I like nasi bebek madura. Oh, yeah. <laughs> with all those uh, uh, rate of spice, spiciness. Yeah, with the uh, sambal hijau. Sambal hijau, uh, yang green, pedas well. itu. Yeah, it's yeah. very pedas, yeah. <laughs> it's very spicy. Yeah. So your stomach is already uh, adapt for that. Yeah. Yeah. He has already. Indonesian stomach now. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, the, what is the best? Yeah, the best feeling we have when I eat. Also, I had a good feeling when I had noodles with rice. Oh, <laughs> you are so indecent <laughs> then. But indeed. That's because I was hungry, I think. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So you but understand yeah. Yeah. why we eat it. noodles with rice, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right, all right. So we're going to continue our talk yeah. in a little bit. We have the story of Indonesian artist Ami Shahrawan, who was recently named as an artist in residence at the Skovdi Art Museum in Sweden. Did I say that right, Skovdi? Skovde. All right. <laughs> That's very difficult. Okay. <laughs> okay. We will learn later, yeah? Yes. <laughs> yeah. So this marks a remarkable achievement among Indonesian artists who are able to showcase and influence their arts on a global stage. Let's take a look. Art is beautiful when people can enjoy the masterpieces. This time the citizens of Sweden, especially in the city of Skafta, can enjoy the display artwork born from the mind of a young artist from Jakarta, Ami Zahrawan. Not only having his art put on display, Ami also participated in providing workshops to the local community. Uh, so far, I uh, usually working with uh, you know, with collective uh, based uh, works, with uh, community based works. So, I think uh, the idea of uh, uh, togetherness itself uh, it's really interesting to be. Uh, present to other people, which is uh, especially for uh, people who have a uh, different uh, culture uh, comparing to Indonesia. Really happy to be involved with other people to creating something. Uh, somehow there is like um, transferring knowledge, transferring information. It's really interesting to be connect with other people uh, through art. I mean like art as a as a platform, not as a, a final um, result, you know. It's beyond uh, of uh, art itself. Who would have thought that art could affect the lives of many people? Not only for art lovers, Armi's work was also poured into the sportswear of the city's futsal team. Well, what a cool way to express art, right? A year ago, the museum also collaborating with Intrachromatic for the exchange project between Indonesia and Sweden. Uh, we are collaborating partners with Interchromatic for this exchange project between artists in Indonesia and Sweden. I wish from over 10,000 kilometers away extend my joy that this is happening and that our collaboration on the topic of cultural and digital heritage, human interaction and artistic exchange of ideas, practice and production finally is on the way. Cultural exchange is important for both countries' art development. It is very proud to know that the work of young Indonesian artists can have special appreciation in international forum. Hopefully, there will be more and more young Indonesian who we believe has talents can continue to showcase their work and has influence in Europe. Noni Mibisano reporting for Sea Today from Stockholm, Sweden. So, uh, how should we write it? Skofte? Uh, Skof. Skofte. Uh, it's actually... It's for... Who? Skofte. Skofte. Yeah, that's good. Skofte. Yeah. It's more to H, yeah? Yeah. Skofte. So, Skofte so, uh, Art Museum is in uh, Stockholm? No, it's a city by itself. Oh, the... Close oh, to okay. Gothenburg. Close to Gothenburg. So, Skofte is the name of a city? Yeah. Okay. 
<laughs> and I think actually my friend was in that, uh, I mean, has been also... Doing, in the program? No, has been uh, actually, she's Indonesian, uh -huh. Tatum, and she is making some patterns. Uh, oh, okay. She's been working here for Bank Mandiri as a designer. Ah. Yeah. And she is now in close to Tatum Maya is her. Name. I think she has been also in the same museum okay. because they were talking about the exchange between Indonesian yeah, and Sweden. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, oh, nice. Interesting. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, how, how far is uh, Hofte from uh, Stockholm? Maybe... Two hours driving, three hours or... Four, maybe. Oh, four. Okay. Three, three, four. Three, three four. four. Three, four. Okay. Uh, if I guess. Yeah. Let's put uh, our bucket list, Stockholm <laughs> and guess. Hofte and your uh, hometown, Lund. Lund, yeah. Lund. <laughs> Got it. All right, so we will continue our talk with Fred after the break. We will talk more about... Um, what is uh, current activities as uh, what's the next activities? So please stay tuned always with us on the Terrarian Show only on C today.